you are likely familiar with the test for carbon dioxide. When we pass it through lime water, it turns lime water milky. This is due to the formation of calcium carbonate, which is insoluble in water. Lime water is simply an aqueous solution of calcium hydroxide. This reaction is in fact a part of a much bigger cycle called the limestone cycle. Limestone is a type of sedimentary rock with a high percentage of calcium carbonate. In this lesson, we will learn about how limestone is formed, some uses of limestone, and the limestone cycle. Millions of years ago, the shells and skeletons of many dead marine organisms have fallen to the seabed. Over the years, these deposits have become thicker and have been compressed by many more layers of sediment to form limestone. As mentioned in the introduction, limestone is a type of sedimentary rock with a high percentage of calcium carbonate. Limestone has many uses and real-life applications. It has been used to carve many structures and even to construct buildings. In another lesson, you will learn more about the real-life applications of limestone. Limestone can be thermally decomposed in a rotary kiln to give quicklime and carbon dioxide. The chemical name for quicklime is calcium oxide. A rotary kiln is a kiln that is able to rotate as the reaction proceeds. This helps to ensure complete thermal decomposition of the entire limestone sample. As this process requires heat, it is an endothermic reaction. The reaction of quicklime with water produces slaked lime. The chemical name for slaked lime is calcium hydroxide. This is a highly exothermic reaction, and the industrial process is called slaking. Slaked lime can be dissolved in water to form lime water. Since it is only slightly soluble in water, a large amount of water is required. Lime water is simply an aqueous solution of calcium hydroxide. As you can see, we have almost completed the limestone cycle. How do you think limestone can be formed from lime water? Hint, think about the test for carbon dioxide. Please pause the lesson and resume when ready. When carbon dioxide is passed through lime water, calcium carbonate is formed. If we continue to pass carbon dioxide through lime water, it will turn clear again because of the formation of calcium hydrogen carbonate. As calcium carbonate is insoluble in water, this is why lime water appears milky. We have now completed the limestone cycle. To recap the limestone cycle, limestone can be thermally decomposed to form quicklime and carbon dioxide. Quicklime reacts with water to form slaked lime. Slaked lime dissolves in water to form lime water. Lime water reacts with carbon dioxide to form calcium carbonate, the main component of limestone. In summary, limestone is a sedimentary rock with a high percentage of calcium carbonate formed from the compression of deposited dead marine organisms. The limestone cycle involves the formation of quicklime, slaked lime, and lime water, and limestone once again.